Yo, to celebrate 100,000 subscribers, I'm officially announcing my first ever merch drop is now available between July 9th to July 19th. You got 10 days to cop this exclusive merch. This is a limited drop and will never be seen again. If you've been rocking with me for the longest or you just became a huge supporter, take your allegiance to Turbo Nation one step further and represent by grabbing you a Turbo Nation tee, hoodie, crew neck, available in all sizes, different colors. And as a thank you, I will personally shout you out if you take a picture with my merch on and tag me either on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord. Cop it now before you never see it again. All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be doing something a little different in a pretty cool video in my opinion. And I know you guys are really gonna enjoy this. So we're gonna be looking at the MP5 versus the Uzi. So we're gonna be comparing and contrasting each of its individual stats so we can finally get a verdict on which gun is better now the reason why i'm doing this is because a lot of people they have confusion on what is the new meta after the mid-season update and we're going to be talking about multiplayer as well as warzone so you guys get a better understanding of which smg you should actually be using we're mainly going to be looking at the time to kill as well as the best class setups because you know quite frankly that's what most people care about in game you know which gun actually kills faster and what are the best setups to use by the way if you guys haven't joined my discord yet make sure to join link will be down below in the description the information display on here is thanks to a couple of our members who have helped me out showing me a really cool website that saves me a lot of testing time and i know you guys are going to enjoy that all right so now we're going to be taking an in-depth look at how these weapons actually compare and we're going to be on this website called codgundata.com and the cool thing about this website is that all this weapon testing was actually done on 240 frames per second when you're testing at 240 frames per second the data is going to be a lot more accurate so that's not to say that some of the data that i've given you guys in the past is not accurate at all you will see some minor differences in some of these numbers so first thing you want to do is you want to go to the full comparison tool so as you can see here you have a variety of options here you can choose assault rifle light machine gun or submachine gun so today we're going to be looking at the mp5 versus the uzi and first i want to show you guys what the mp5 and the uzi looks like with no attachments at all just so we can get an understanding of what the weapons look like at their base so as you can see here you get this stat summary data after you've selected your weapon and it shows you a quick rundown of the individual stats of the weapon now we're going to save and add another and now we're going to add the uzi so we're going to go ahead and do that next step no more attachments all right so now we can click on save and generate summary it literally gives you a good detailed rundown of the stats of each individual weapon so now let's go ahead and take a look at this comparison chart so this is what's actually also really cool so here you can see targets health this is multiplayer and you can add a couple plates depending on what you want if you want to take a look at how it fares up in warzone you can put three plates so first let's go ahead and take a look at multiplayer and of course this is for the chest shots so here's the really cool part about this website these corners represent the damage drop off so every time you you see the corner that's a damage drop off so for the first nine meters you get 166 time to kill from that exact range for the mp5 and as for the uzi your first damage drop off is at 15 meters so that means anything after 15 meters you're going to get a different time to kill so for example at 15 meters for the uzi it says here 293 millisecond time to kill from that 15 meter range so anything up to 15 meters is going to be 293 millisecond time to kill and that's what's really cool about this website everything is very accurate and as you can see here for the mp5 anything between 9 to 18 meters your time to kill is going to change and this also includes that bullet velocity you can actually include that bullet time travel to target which is really cool and as you can see here the farther you get out the higher your time to kill actually goes up so just looking quickly at this data you can already tell that the base mp5 kills a lot faster than the base uzi so now let's go ahead and add some attachments and let's see exactly how these two weapons compare so first things first let's go over the mp5 setup that i do recommend after the recent nerf so for the barrel we're running with the monolithic integral suppressor i've always told you guys that if you're not running this specific attachment on your mp5 you are doing it wrong i'm using the close quarter stock as you guys may or may not know the collapsible stock actually received a slight nerf so if you're not really good at controlling that recoil then stay away from this attachment as much as possible you do not want to be running the collapsible stock instead i do recommend using the close quarter stock now for the perk i'm using fully loaded on the mp5 with the 10 millimeter rounds you only have 30 rounds to work with so running that fully loaded perk is going to be a lot more beneficial in the long run so you don't really need to look for any other weapons around the map to pick up for the ammunition obviously you do want to run the 10 millimeter out of 30 round mags now this was actually also nerfed it wasn't nerfed to the point where it's unusable and an attachment that you should stay away from the damage range was literally
literally decreased by a couple meters and it's really not that big of a deal a lot of people are overreacting so for the next attachment we're running with the mark 4 grip this one is going to give us that recoil control as well as that hip fire accuracy and a hidden stat about the Merc 4 grip is that it actually does increase your movement speed by quite a bit. So again, we're going to get into that in a little bit with the website I am about to show you guys. So for the Uzi, this is my preferred class setup. It has changed slightly, just a little bit. Uh, for the muzzle, I'm running with a monolithic suppressor. This one's going to give us sound suppression as well as a little bit of damage range. And for the barrel, we're running with the FSS Carbine Pro. Now for the next attachment, we're running with the no stock attachment for more movement speed as well as aim down side speed. And yes, I am aware the no stock was nerfed but you know what on the uzi it's fairly manageable that recoil is not hard to control from distance especially when you're using the uzi and you know exactly where those damage ranges drop off you should not be engaging in really long range type of combat in the first place you got to play smart use the weapons to its strength which would be up close to about 25 meters for the next attachment we're using the 0.41 ae 32 round magazines this is going to give us more damage and more range this is the most important attachment on the uzi so for the under barrel again we're gonna be using the mark 4 grip all right so now here comes the biggest question which one is better and which one should you be using in both multiplayer and warzone all right so now i'm gonna press this right here and i'm gonna click on reset so that we have a clean slate here and we're gonna go back to the comparison tool we're gonna go to submachine gun and we're gonna pick the mp5 10 millimeter and the first attachment that we always put on is going to be the barrel which is going to be the monolithic integral suppressor there's a lot of people out there who swear that the monolithic suppressor is actually the supreme attachment to put on the mp5 five now let's take a look at right here range modifier 10 percent right bullet velocity is 15 percent but if we go to the barrel here and we put on the monolithic integral suppressor you get 18 percent range which is already beating that 10 percent on the monolithic suppressor and that bullet velocity is 25 percent so if you do the math obviously the monolithic integral suppressor is going to give you the most amount of damage range possible and if you actually look at the in-game stats on the bars they don't actually show you that it adds that damage range which is actually really misleading and that's why you should never trust those bars in game and i'm not really sure why the game was built that way but you know it is what it is so we're going to add the monolithic integral suppressor unfortunately it does add 21 milliseconds of aim down sight speed which is totally fine so for the second attachment we're going to put on the stock which is the one i do recommend the close quarter stock now with the recent nerf you do see that the recoil here adds 21 percent to your vertical recoil that's why a lot of creators including myself have recommended to stay away from this attachment if you're not really comfortable controlling that recoil uh so for my recommendation we are going to be putting on the close quarter stock 17 milliseconds to your aim down sight speed all right so for the next attachment we are going to be putting on the under barrel and the under barrel is going to be the merc 4 grip so here is another hidden stat that the game actually doesn't tell you the movement speed is actually increased by 3.7 percent now this is something that i wasn't even aware of like i said earlier someone in the discord told me about this so i went ahead and took a look and i was actually quite surprised by these results now does this mean i'm going to be putting on merc 4 grip on all of my weapons no because some weapons are actually better with Merc 4 grip and some weapons are actually better off without it. So that's also something to consider. So just because you see it as 3.7% movement speed does not mean that you should actually put this on all of your weapons. So the vertical recoil does get helped out here by 17% and your hip fire spread does get helped out as well. And we already knew that. All right, so for the next attachment, we are going to be putting on a perk. Now, unfortunately, we can't put on any other perks here. As you can see here, we have a quick rundown. Now we're going to save and add another. So let's go ahead and add the Uzi. So let's look for the Uzi. Uzi and the 41 AE rounds. That's what we want. First attachment is going to be the monolithic suppressor. All right, and the second attachment is going to be the barrel. We're going to add the Carbine Pro. So as you can see here, it has less of a penalty versus the Carbine by about four milliseconds. All right, so for the barrel, we're going to go ahead and add the Carbine Pro attachment. And the next attachment is going to be the under barrel. We're going to use the Merc 4 grip. And the last and final attachment is going to be the no stock. Let's go ahead and compare these two and see how they fare up. So here's just a quick rundown. As you can see here, the Uzi does have a lot more range, and we're going to take a look at that in a little bit in the view comparison chart. The aim down sight speed is a lot faster on the Uzi at 200 milliseconds, but you know what? This actually might not be noticeable at all because it's just a 20 millisecond difference here. And the sprint to fire speed is a lot faster on the MP5. The tactical sprint to fire time is much faster on the MP5. The movement speed is almost the same here. Now, the aim down sight movement speed 
is going to go to the Uzi here at 3.66 meters per second. And the vertical recoil is better on the MP5. Now, that's not to say that the Uzi is worse just because there's 10% more recoil to the Uzi. Like I said before, if you try it yourself, it's really not that hard to control the recoil on the Uzi. And as far as the hip fire spread, the hip fire spread is actually a lot better on the MP5, but you know, not by much. And the bullet velocity is significantly better on the Uzi here, as you can see here, 741 versus 541. And the reload time is significantly faster on the Uzi. Uzi as well. So, you know, you got to take these stats with a grain of salt here because now we're going to look at the comparison chart of the time to kill in both multiplayer and Warzone. So, as far as the time to kill the multiplayer goes, as you can see here, the MP5 is completely dominant at this exact range which is going to be 12 meters so you have to be really close to your opponent to be able to take advantage of this time to kill right here at 172 milliseconds anything after 12 meters as you can see here the uzi actually starts to take over remember the uzi is the purple bar the lower the line is the faster it actually kills the first damage drop off for the uzi is actually at 42 meters so what we can take away from this data is that anything after 12 meters the uzi is just outright gonna win in time to kill and that's why i've been telling you guys people who are in my streams make sure to follow me on twitch by the way i do give you guys some information on there before you guys see it here first on youtube is that the uzi is more dominant versus the mp5 and a lot of people just didn't want to believe me but hey man numbers don't lie the uzi kills significantly faster at all ranges up to about 40 meters even if you wanted to and i don't recommend you challenging people at 62 meters uh it's still dominant from long range now of course the most common engagements that you will get in multiplayer are going to be within this 25 meter range so if you're going to go up against an mp5 with this exact same attachments you're definitely going to win those gunfights unless the person is literally up in your face remember folks 12 meters is really not that far 12 meters is actually really close which is going to account for a very small percentage of your gunfights in multiplayer so with that said the uzi is the most practical to use in most situations and it definitely does kill your opponents a lot faster according to this graph here so now let's take a look at warzone so let's add three plates here and see how the results fare out so the results are fairly consistent here now as you can see here the uzi at 24 meters it still has a very good time to kill of about let's see here what it says of about 631 milliseconds and this is actually very good and if you compare that to the mp5 look i mean look at where the mp5 is at right here after 12 meters you're getting kills at 700 milliseconds so so like i said before in many of my videos in the past you must use the uzi up close and personal or at mid range so mid range being around that what let's see what this is 24 meter range so you want to use your primary weapon which is going to be either the kilo or m13 or whatever primary you want to use for those long range engagements to take care of any gunfight that happens beyond 24 meters that's why you have to be really smart and that's why i always tell you guys how to use weapons and this data actually proves that so let's go ahead and take a look at the headshots anyway all right so for headshots it's fairly even here but still the uzi does take over within that practical range of 24 meters yes at this range at 27 meters it does drop enemies a lot faster versus the uzi because there is a damage drop off for the uzi right here at about 24 meters headshots at that range are not practical and it's going to be very inconsistent so you always have to take those into consideration is yes we do have the data we do have the numbers here but you also have to take a look at it from a logical perspective is it practical in most situations especially from that far of a range are you really going to get headshots at that long of a range with an mp5 no especially when you only have 30 rounds to work with you're most likely going to run out of ammo at that range before you know it i've always said the uzi is a lot better it's more practical it kills a lot faster in both multiplayer and war zone so yeah guys let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below i know it's a really different video than what i'm used to giving you guys but i just wanted to show you guys this really cool website and again it's very helpful and very useful go ahead check it out yourself cod gun data oops go ahead check it out yourself codgundata.com and make sure to drop them a follow as well and join their discord let them know turbo man sent you and i will definitely be sending them this video as well so they can take a look at how helpful this information actually is so yeah guys if you guys did learn something make sure to drop a like let's try to hit a like goal of 500 likes it really meant a lot to me and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here join turbo nation today it'll help you make your way back to the channel if you're really interested in more call of duty videos so yeah see you guys in the next video have a good day peace